this dust and this sand, if Allah will leave that body without teaching people to bury the smell of the body, Maulana said, may Allah bless him, that if the smell of the bad amal that we did in dunya, Allah will release it from the body of that dead person, the whole world will faint from that smell, bad smell. So that sand and dust will cover that smell. It is rahma because if it was released, everyone is going to curse that that body from that smell. Allah send it rahma to in its sunnah of Prophet to throw on the body to cover means to veil the the bad amal of people by burying them. Allah is one of his attributes is as sattar the veiler. He veils our sins. So veiling the body, covering it, because you, you cannot see a body laying on the floor and can live. You cannot live anymore from the fear that comes in your heart. If someone dies in the house, people of the house, they get afraid. And some people, they don't come back to the house. They are afraid. Why they are afraid? They are afraid from that death has a haiba. Haiba. It's a It's emanation. something tough on the body that, like majestic, mm, way of looking at feels feels you are fearing of angels of death. Mm. Allah made it rahma to cover underground. If it is above ground, you cannot eat, you cannot drink when you look at that, that person. How many disgusting, how many days people, when someone die for them, they don't eat, they don't drink. In the grave, you put the body in the grave to cover that the disgusting picture. If you are disgusted and you are feeling afraid from a dead body, which all of us feel like that, what you think the dead body is feeling from Allah's punishment? They're calling you. How much they are fearing, how much the body is fearing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala punishment and sending the two angels, Munkar wa Nakir, to ask questions. And the body is left alone, that person is left alone under dirt. Okay. and cannot move right or left because they put dirt on, on the sides in order to keep the body straight. And everyone goes, and Prophet Wasallam said, when everyone goes, no more one there, Allah sent the soul back to the body. As soon as the soul sent back, that person sit. When sit, he hit the stone. Because he cannot sit, oh. he will hit his forehead because he is buried. So how he going to? He, as soon as he come up, he hit. He knows that he. It is the last. It is the last time for him in dunya. At that moment, he realized that he is in akhir. The two angels comes asking him, 
is your creator, who is your the messenger, missiles of messengers, what is your religion, what is your holy book. If your tongue is frozen, you are in a bad position. If your tongue is not frozen, released, and you answer well, you are in good position. If we think a little bit about that, that's why yesterday I was saying that in the previous time, Shiuchs used to ask their murids to do seclusion in the graves. They, put, they make them to dig a grave three meters down, and they ask them to go in the grave, in the cemetery, to do seclusion, to teach them that one day you are going to be like that, train them then they don't get afraid. They know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala one day coming calling them for death. If we feel that and we realize that, no one of us will be sitting like that. Everyone will be afraid sitting in the corner saying La ilaha illallah, La ilaha illallah, La Allah, Muhammad Rasulullah, Hasbun Allah wa Na'man Salawat on Prophet, reading Quran. No more anyone will do anything except praising their Lord and waiting for Allah calling him for death. But Allah made us heedless from that. We are ghafil, ghafla, heedless. That's why we are busy in our work in dunya or else the whole dunya will stop. Everything will stop. If Allah didn't make us heedless, everything will not move. Awliya are not heedless. That's why every moment they are in zikrullah. Every moment they are following after their followers, murid, teaching them. Every moment they are with their murid, looking at them, what they are doing, their behaviors. 24 hours they are looking at different murids around the, the world. Even the sheikh in the east, the murid in the west, he's looking. Building up his heart. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save us and forgive us. And I was looking and remembering that we came here many years ago and I saw these two pictures there. I remember that they left everything they want. They are not, you are not taking anything with you, even not even your clothes, not even a ring. You're leaving and, and going. May Allah forgive us. It's very difficult how to face. Rabbi al Hadawiyah was crying and all the day was making istighfar. They asked us, they asked her, why you are doing istighfar all the day? She said, how I am not going to do istighfar when I don't know how Sayyidina Azrael is going to come to take my soul. Is it with punishment or with mercy? If you can tell me how he's coming to take my soul, then it's okay. Anyone knows? No one. May Allah forgive us. Hormat al-Habib, hormat al-Fatih.